Welcome to another inspiring episode of the Elite Expert Insider Podcast. Hosts Melanie Johnson and Jen Foster are the owners of Elite Online Publishing. They're both Wall Street Journal, USA Today bestselling authors. We're really glad you're here because this podcast was designed for you. Meet industry experts that share their secrets and strategies. Get successful results for your business in money, relationships, health, and your life. Each episode is going to inspire you to take action towards reaching your greatness. Everyone, it's Melanie Johnson. Thanks for coming today. I got Jen Foster, my business partner here at Lead Online Publishing. Hey, Jen. Hey, how's everyone doing today? It's a fantastic day. I am so excited. We have an over-the-top guest with us, and we have been working with her shoulder by shoulder, side by side, digging in. She has this amazing book launch coming up. Um, but first, I want to remember remind you to subscribe to our podcast. Make sure you do that and that you share and leave us a message because we love to hear from you. And if you're looking to publish a book and become a number one bestseller, remember to reach out and contact us at EliteOnlinePublishing.com. Go to that submission button, hit that submission button, fill out the form, and we'll see if you're someone that would be great to work with us. So in the meantime, our guest, Laura Langmeyer, is known to make people millionaires. And let me tell you, she has helped our business. She's helped my son, gave us tips to create our business, uh, to take it to the next level. But now she has written a book about how to do that for your children from starting when they're little, itty bitty. So we are going to talk about her book. And not only is she doing a book, she's collaborating with us and we're launching it with an NFT. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a non-fungible token. We'll talk more about that as we get into the interview. Laura Langmeyer, thank you for joining us and talking about your new book, Make Your Kids Millionaires. Thank you. It's exciting to be here and exciting that... Uh... It's kind of come full circle, you know, 2005, uh, you know, I launched, I wrote the Millionaire Maker book and in uh, January, 2006 became a New York time and five New York times later. And now we're going, I call it my big summary book of, you know, I, I had to experiment on my children to make them millionaires and then I could write about it. <laughs> awesome. Well, tell us how the book came about and who your co-author is. Absolutely. So um, it will be for me, the fourth book of my Millionaire Maker series for Kyle to be his first book. So the book is about two different authors. Um, my story, a single mom, traveled all six continents, uh, traveled all over the world, made my kids millionaires, very entrepreneurial. Um, I say yes and figure things out. Kyle is a retired lieutenant colonel from the Air Force, Air Force fighter pilot and fighter pilot trainer. So he had 25 years of service in a very traditional marriage and stock investor in real estate. So he did his one way. I did mine my, my you know, very different way. And uh, there's not a right or wrong answer. And that's really what the book's about is, you know, from there's three chapters in the beginning about the kind of the context of what does it take to be a millionaire. And for me, I did this for generational wealth because I want this to live on for generations. And statistically, generational wealth only lasts two times. Usually mm -hmm. they'll educate their kids. But then the, when the grandkids come, there was no criteria for them to be educated and the, the money's gone. So legacies uh, statistically are only two generations. My goals, you know, forever. Um, and uh, so it's just it's two different stories. And the theme of the book is pick a path and make a plan. Here's Laurel's path. Here's Kyle's path. Here's all the things we did from zero to five, six to eight, nine to 11, 12 to 13. And then all the way up, my son's 22. He's the oldest of the four that we experimented on. I have two and he has two. And it's a tell all. It is a tell all, at least on my side, it is a tell all of every little ninja thing that I did from employing them at zero um, and then get a Roth IRA. You fund their Roth, how you never pay them an allowance, how you do financial filing, how they become entrepreneurs. It's cool. It's super fun. We wrote it I all. I love all this because it really pertains to me as a mom. I'm sure lots of other moms out there too, because I am that grandchild that didn't get the inheritance for a huge, huge corporation that my, you know, uncles and, you know, they all got it, but the grandkids, there's not very many wow. of us grandkids who didn't really get anything from it because there wasn't a plan in place. So this yeah. is really important for me to set up, like you said, generational wealth for more than just your kids and your grandkids. Absolutely. It is so critical. And, you know, financial literacy in general is the theme of the book, right? Kyle and my intent is to help people, right? That's our overarching. We just want to help people. And what we know 
um, especially me knowing having been in the Rich Dad Poor Dad organization from 1996 to 2000. Sharon Lecter became my financial mom. 1999 was my million year. And, you know, her mission has always been financial literacy. She did get it into the school systems in Arizona, but across the board, financial literacy is not taught. It's not going to be in the school systems. I mean, we've seen now with COVID and the pandemic, what they want to teach in the schools, financial literacy was never going to be on the radar. Yeah. So, you know, this is a cry out to parents, reach out, a scream out, a shout out, whatever you want to call and say, you're responsible. If you want your kids to be financially literate, you have to put it in the home. And uh, mm -hmm. so we're excited about it. We're excited to uh, get the book. It's, it's think about the book. It's like a, it's an 18 to 21 year old book. Like I, I talk a lot about at the end, how I, how Logan and I, he's now my business partner at 18. He got an LSD for his birthday, signed in and how he's now my business partner. Yes, my son, but he's also a business partner and how we use the tax code for the highest level strategy to put him through college. So there's just a lot that most people have no idea that these strategies are even legal, much less available to them because it's just not taught. Mm -hmm. So I want to go into some of these ninja tricks because, um, you know, they're going to get the book, but I want to give them a couple of your ninja tricks. They're like, oh my gosh, if I got that from here, I am definitely getting the book. Let's even talk about, um, give us some that you think are top of mind for you, but I love how you say, don't give your kid allowance, but what am I supposed to do? You know, what should I do instead of an allowance? So when you buy the book, right, so it's makeyourkidsmillionaires.com, there's a big pre-order bonus package. And one of those is to never pay your kids this allowance. So an allowance to most people and most kids is like a paycheck. Like you agree that it's $5 or $10 or $20. I know some parents are ridiculous and doing 100 a week. I don't know what the kid needs 100 a week for, <laughs> but it cheats. It, it, there's no negotiation of what's that money for. There's no tasks associated. It's just like a paycheck. Right. And so instead of that, when uh, Logan, we have a whole chapter in the book on never pay your kids an allowance and Logan's cute little picture. Um, and he and I made this up and we actually did a whole recording where we would negotiate for the tasks. So if Logan was like, as he was young and they're age appropriate. So, if, and first of all, I'm not raising, I'm raising smart, super smart kids, not spoiled kids. So uh, um, there are just home tasks because you live here. Like those have to be negotiated. Then what do you want to do on top of it? Do you want to make $20 a week? Do you want to make $80 a month? Do you want to make a hundred? Like when Logan got into his teens, Tristan's now 15. Um, you know, she wants to make, make way more money. So she designed our company calendar for the holidays. She, you know, and that was $20 a page. I mean, that was a big negotiation. So she got 260 bucks for designing a calendar that we put out, but it's negotiating. So you make a list of tasks and then you negotiate with the child and you have them go to the internet. And it's like, what does somebody that does this get paid? Like both of my kids are amazing at math. So my son, he was, he's so since high school charged anywhere between 50 to 75 to do math tutoring. He still, you know, he does a ton of tutoring at college. I mean, he, you know, he'll take tests for three or $400. He will, he, Don't throw him under the bus, mom. Of, <laughs> he'll do all sorts of different things. He uh, was a ski instructor for 75 an hour. Um, so, you know, it's up to the kid what they want to do, but you help them negotiate. And it really sets that entrepreneurial energy for them because now they have to negotiate. They have to have a time association of, well, what if I don't get it done in time? So I'm not paying you for your time. I'm, I'm paying you for a result in a project. So if you're going to mow the lawn or if you're going to rake leaves or you're going to paint something, organize the garage, there has to be a result and they have to negotiate a price. And if it takes them too long, well, there's their lessons. Yeah. And then- uh, they're, then they're a little more advanced piece of that program is cost of goods. So like for a lot of times, Logan would do at our big table, he had a smoothie business. And when he was 10, we started adding in cost of goods. So now when we went over and got all his little supplies at the grocery store, and then he collected all his money, mom would take back what it cost to get all those supplies. And that was a shocker. Then he's like, oh my gosh, now I have to margin this out per smoothie. I was like, now you get it. So yeah. there's a lot of just how do you teach these kids to negotiate, to stand proud and tall about money, to earn their own money. And then there's a filing cabinet that you get in the, in the bonus pack. What do you do with the money? Do they kid get to spend it all? Do they put some away for later? So long-term vision, short-term uh, spending, uh, charity, the whole thing is in it. It's value I love that. I love that. It's think outside the box because, you know, I know we're not promoting your game, but you have a game on Millionaire Maker game. And we played that with my kids. And I was like, wow, like I would have never thought that I could 
fold my neighbor's laundry and get paid, not me, but my children. Right. So yeah. I'm like, wow, I didn't even think of that. Like outside the box thinking of how they could earn some money, right. Yeah. How they could Absolutely. do a business. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So when you go to the make your kids millionaires.com and get the, the, the book, the book won't come out till May. Right. And so if you're listening to whenever you're listening or hearing the podcast, it'll be out uh, Mother's Day. It's kind of a Mother's Day gift. So you all should be getting it. But for you, it's this huge fifteen hundred dollar value stack of just amazing digital assets. And a lot of these the, the, the things that I use to train my kids with. So it's exciting. And then so it's yeah, okay. and at the end, once the book goes out in May, then and everybody's got their book delivered. So let's call it June. Kyle and I are going to host a masterclass for four weeks on how do you consume this book, because it is an 18. Think about um, uh, like what to expect when you're expecting. It's like one of those. So mm-hmm. it's an 18 year book, maybe even you know beyond that. So wherever you are with your parenting or grandparenting or nieces and nephews. You've, you know, I always say just read it anyway. So you want to catch up on some of the ninja things. And one of the other ninjas I want to share is when they're born. Like I am, I'm coaching some folks right now. I think one of them that's uh, considering actually one of our majestic clients, which is the NFT side, um, they're, they're going to have their first baby. I said, oh my gosh, like now is the perfect time to bring me in your life because how your company is going to employ that baby, the baby, when they comes out, how you're going to employ them, get them a Roth IRA get them an investment account at iFlip. Like we have a whole structure to what do you do with these kids while they're still being faked for nine months. I mean, we really start very, very aggressively. And um, we also talk a lot about scripts for their family. Let's just say, you know, your kids are in their teens and you haven't talked about money. How, how do you start this? And like you said, Jen, put the game around your kitchen table. So I, I am promoting the book, the game a lot as the book comes out. Because it's just such a great supplemental tool to have those lessons at a kitchen table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about the launch a little bit because you're doing it in such a new, unique way. I think you're way in the forefront of launching this with an NFT, which is a non fungible token. I think yeah. you're one of the very, 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 very first authors ever, ever to do this in the way that you're doing it, which I love because you're just so innovative. Not only are you creative and you're so in tune with families and making them wealthy and your whole message of everything, but you're embracing this new technology. So talk about that a little bit about how that came about and and what you're doing with the different levels um, for them to jump into. Well, so my son was home uh, I and mean, we've talked about this. I mean, as, as you guys have you know, been side by side, we've been talking about this book and then it's coming out. It's over 300 pages. Let's tell you, it's a 300 page hardback, a little more because um, it's very, very meaty. I mean, you have to go from zero to we went all the way into the like twice said 21. Um, and what do you do with your kid year by year by year? Very specific how to's and checklists. So when when Logan was home for the holidays uh, back from Georgia Southern, where he goes to school, he's like, well, how are you going to do this, mom? He said, we we're going to buy eBooks. And I said, you can't to be a bestseller. You have to buy the hardback. So I had this beautiful collection of uh, lions, these women in Uganda paint these amazing art. And he loves it. He's like, this is the coolest art you've ever bought, mom. And he's like, he looks, he said, do that. He said, look what Gary V's doing. So we went to Gary V's website. We checked out his B friends and his art. And I'm like, oh, I get it. So we could wrap up the lions, make them these cool, Arts. We added all sorts of technology to it. Like they're going to be spinning and moving and there's going to be some, you know, uh, an ETH coin behind it. So it's very beautiful art, but then it has this utility of my stuff. So it's going to have a lot of, and I have a lot of assets. So uh, Kyle will have, you know, part of our time with us. Uh, but like, I'm going to give my big table for a $15,000, what's called Majestic Lion. Um, but they get 180 books. I mean, there's, it's a big book launch. There's going to be four lions. There's a courageous lion, a royal lion, a noble lion, a majestic lion in an NFT collection. And behind it is a whole variety of things. And they're going to be from $100 to $500 to $1,000 to $15,000. And uh, somebody for 15,000 can get a, t- you know, a seat at the big table, which is normally 35,000. So we're doing a lot of very unique wrap up of things that I know people want. And uh, I'm, you know, giving an enormous discount to value on it. And uh, they're going to get a whole bunch of books with it as part of our launch because we are under a time, you know, well, we have time, but we also have, you know, our friends at Amazon 
who have got to ship these books out over and books, you know, Barnes and Noble and Books Million. So it's a very strategic launch, lots of layers to it. Uh, but for those of you out listening, I think the <clears throat> most important thing is not only are you going to get a value packed book for you and your family for generations, um, wrapped in the NFT, we're going to be launching a conference called Gen W. I'm a Gen Xer. My son and my kid, well, he's a millennial. Tristan's a Gen Z. So I grabbed the words Gen W called Generational Wealth. And we're gonna have a conference this fall of 2022. One, uh, it'll be a three-year program. So there's a lot layered in it. I mean, from the book to the conference to amazing discounts uh, and giveaways. And they get in the NFT business. It is a new asset class. So those of you out there going, thinking this is crazy stuff, I did too, until I really dug in at Christmas and uh, we're going We're going for it. So the Lions will be live uh, and they're on the site. So when you go to the makeyourkidsmillionaires.com site, look up the tab bar because it says NFT exclusive offer and they will be right there and you'll know what you get in every one of them. Awesome. So I love that you're are- bundling the book with NFTs because a lot of people don't know what an NFT is, but when they learn about them, they're like, oh, this is a new asset. This is a new way to to do things. And so getting that token, getting your Courageous Lion or Majestic Lion token, and then having access to all of your, like the bundle, having access to the conference, having access to even your big table, that is huge, your mastermind, that is huge. I love that you're bundling it and doing it all in this pre-launch, in the book launch. Yeah, it's exciting. It's And like you said, Melanie, it's never been done. Um, so, uh, those of you that are out watching and you're an author, stay tuned. And, uh, I get the book just to side by side shadow how we're doing this launch and, uh, watch what we're going to do and the best sellers we're going to become. And so many people, they don't know what an NFT is or a smart yeah. contract that comes with and how it all works. So I want to encourage you to go to Laurel's site, makeyourkidsmillionaires.com, because there's a whole educational tab on there that yeah. we recorded these uh, videos when we were having meetings and Laurel and I dive deep into what an NFT really is, why you would want one, what a smart contract is, how it all works. So we don't have time to dive into all that now. So I'm going to encourage you, even if you just go there. So that's the other part is she's giving all this information and education for free that lives on her website, as well as you get the opportunity to purchase one for yourself and jump into this asset class for the first time. And um, just so much education, education. And we're really proud that we partnered together, Elite Online Publishing, along with Laurel Langmeyer and Make Your Kids Millionaires to do this special offer of the NFT with her book. And, um, and the goal is that she's going to be a bestseller not just on Amazon, but she'll be Wall Street Journal USA Today. So well, that's why it's so important that we're selling all of these um, up until the launch. And just so you know, once the, the launch has come, then they're going to be all pulled back. You probably won't be able to get access to these. And um, she's saying she's really being modest <laughs> uh, because she says, you know, the big table's 35000 We're selling this for 15000 but she doesn't mention all the other stuff that's in there. So I want to say it's close to 50000 Yeah. Yeah, it is. And that, you know what, with in the midst of the books needing to be the forefront and uh, the lions, um, you know, I, I do want to take a moment and talk about the Gen W conference. I mean, generational wealth as a conference has never existed either. I mean, there are some estate lawyers who will do it, but they're going to do it because they want a state law business. But from a, you know, single mom that grew her kids, you know, and uh, are, you know, raising millionaires, and then we'll have this generational wealth plan. Uh, a conference of this magnitude hasn't happened where there will be, you know, lawyers, there'll be folks to work on entities, trust, tax, uh, Roth IRA, self-directed IRAs, all of these folks will be in one room to blitz these, these wealth plans because so many families don't realize you need a team of wealth, you know, of what I call wealth advisors. Mm-hmm. So I've surrounded myself. I have 28 uh, expert in finance and wealth on my team, and we're going to bring together uh, the fall of 2022, 23, and 24, uh, this conference. We're just going to keep layering it at, in every year as the laws change and everything changes, you know, it's, it's just different. It's not difficult to do. Uh, it's just different because we're not taught. We're taught to go be employees and get a 401k and hope to God the whole thing's working out. I think the pandemic, I hope waked a lot, you know, woke a lot of people up to, you need to really be mindful and be responsible for your own financial literacy. And it's just not taught. My son is going to graduate in May with a finance and accounting degree, two bachelors in May never has been taught anything in school, university, 
to the degree in the way that I teach how an entrepreneur can become a millionaire and a wealth builder. Not one class. He's taught how to do taxes for those corporations, but not to own one and how to be the entrepreneur in command of owning nothing and controlling it all. Like I am taking one completely and I've lived taking this out of the Rockefeller playbook. How do you own nothing and control everything? Like I, Laura Langmer, own nothing. I mean, I don't even own these little glasses. I mean, I don't own my phone. I don't own a car. I don't own a house. I don't own anything. So this has been around, and I share that because the Rockefellers were one of the few families in that era that actually created and still sustain that generational wealth now for, what, over a century? I mean, it's very doable, but man, it is not in the forefront of education anywhere. Yeah, and that's, that's the goal, I think, for this book. If you are looking to buy it and jump on this NFT um, experience that you can get a bulk amount of books at such a sweet price, plus all the other assets and share them to your children's school, donate them to the different schools, donate them to a whole class of yep. third graders, of fifth graders, of sixth graders. Yep. You know, I just love that idea because it is not taught. It gives me goosebumps. Just thinking about it. I know. So, Laurel, tell us um, where we can go. We've talked about the website, but say it again and, um, and yep. give us that call to action. So make your kids millionaires.com. And when you go to the site, you can buy one book. So one book, it's uh, $25 plus shipping and handling, and you get $1,500 of bonuses uh, right now because we're in a pre-order. Then in May, that book will actually be delivered to you. And, uh, and then we'll have a masterclass in June. So that's for the people who just want one book. If you want to put your little toe in the water for the NFT, the lowest amount, the initial uh, investing is $100. And for that, you'll get two books and a whole bunch of other digital assets. So at least go that far to open up the wallet, see what this asset class is like, see what digital currency is like, um, you know, start trading some ETH or buying some ETH, you know, Ethereum or Bitcoin, like just get your foot in the game. And so that's also the part that's really, really important because I've been teaching alternative asset education for two decades now. So it'll be a huge piece of that learning. So we're just going to combine it all into one. And here's what I also say to the parents. If you're scared to do this, open the wallets in your kids' names because your kids are already like they already they're so far into this. They're going to be investing this way. So if you're, you know, older, or like, oh, yeah, I'm putting all this in my son's name. Right. And when Tristan's 18, then he will share with his sister and they'll uh, continue on. So I'm that's what I'm going to do, because I know that's you know, I'm we're going to as a family put our little toe in this water called NFTs. And I've been in Bitcoin in their Roth IRAs since it was four thousand dollars. So, I mean, we're going to that's another really, really big ninja trick is these your Roth IRA is, in my opinion, I can't tell you what to do where I think you should be doing these kind of investments because it grows tax free, tax deferred inside of that structure. So there's a lot of that setup we're going to teach you that nowhere else are you going to get the layers of education and depth that we're going to put. And because I think, you know, we're all great teachers, we're going to do it in a very simple, easy way that you're all going to feel like, oh, that wasn't so bad. I kind of got in like for a hundred bucks, I put my little toe in the water and I got my first NFT. I love it. So we'll put the link up in the show notes for those of you who want to go and grab the book or multiple books. And thank you so much, Laura, for being on the show today. Thank you. Appreciate you too. Remember to subscribe to the show. And if you're looking to create a book, look at us up at eliteonlinepublishing.com. And if you'd like to have a book with an NFT, um, just message us right there as well. We'll see you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Hey, are you looking to increase your revenue, build credibility and elevate your brand? This podcast is brought to you by Elite Online Publishing, an innovative publishing and full spectrum marketing company. They will publish and market your book to make it a number one bestseller. Becoming an author is the best way to market your business. So contact them at EliteOnlinePublishing.com today. All of their authors become number one bestsellers.